What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, and today we're jumping back into the two five five hundred dollar buy-in cash game action. I think we're on a losing streak of four or five sessions, so really hoping to break that trend with a huge win today. Uh, here we open button jack nine of clubs get three bet by the big blind. We'll call him position in flop two pair ace jack nine. The half pot bet here we'll just be calling. Four of hearts on the turn. Pretty good turn card here. Another half pot bet here. We'll just be calling. So it'll put about 431 in the middle, 352 back. And outside of like an ace or a four, we're probably going to be calling any river. They bet. A three. Good card here. If he had missed straight draws, they miss. Um, he can still be jamming for value of like ace, king, ace, queen, which I always do. So pretty quick call. That's. Our opponent had 10-8 for the missed straight draw, and we're good. All right, so here we see a limp, raise, flat. We're going to go ahead and put in the squeeze of the ace, king, and diamonds. Pot's getting uh, inflated a bit pre-flop because of that limper. Uh, Razor decides on a call here over to the button. All right, so we're going to go heads up here, king, queen, three. So SPR is like basically one to one. I'm gonna bet really small. We'll be doing this with our range that we're betting here. See a call eight turn. Um, hmm. I think we'll place the check. Some I'm gonna make sure I'm mixing this, but I think it's nice sometimes to have top pair, top kicker. Also can get them to overstab with like a queen that just thinks it's good now, or maybe a deuce river. Once it checks through and they have underpot behind, though, we'll definitely be jamming here for value. Opponent goes well into the tank and unfortunately finds a fold. Uh, here we get a limp. We raise button with jacks, get two calls. And this guy's going to lead out for pot on the 10 9 deuce. Same player we just saw the previous hand. Get all in pre with king or queen jack. So I'm gonna I raise him here actually. Just try to get him to stack off like a 10 high hand. There are a pair of tens here. I'm just gonna call. Tempting to raise him though. And just get a stack in. Don't want to necessarily have him have like scare cards come off. Uh, it's interesting once the big blind calls. I still feel like we have the best hand most of the time. And now this player bets pot again. Just gonna be getting it in here with our jacks. Good luck to us. Oh, it's a little scary to see when he gets in. A set of deuces. Oh, that sucks with that guy just going bonkers there. But end up losing the pot there with Jax, but I think our play was okay. Uh, open button here, small line, three bets. We'll go ahead and call in position with the eights. And flop the open and straight draw, 10, 9, 7, 2 diamonds. See a check here. I'm going to check this back as well. Good bet. Uh, turn five. Now we see a big bet. We'll go ahead and just call. Three river. Oh, goes for the jam. All right, got to think here. What hands is he checking? I think our, he could definitely be checking some like aces of kings and queens on this type of flop here in a three-bet pot out of position. Um, I guess maybe then he'll go for value with it on the jam. So I'm going to find a fold with the eights. Holds. Uh, here open the hijack, small blind, three bets off. A pretty short stack, only starts with about 52 big blinds. We'll go ahead and call in position. And flop top pair, top kicker. And bet's pretty big, we'll just call here. Basically anything but a king will feel pretty good about our hands. Eight of spades. And jams, we'll call it off. 
And our opponent had ace four clubs, so we take it down. Old call from the short sack here. And again, makes things a little interesting. I think I'm going to bet to try to just get folds and then we would call off versus this opponent. Just checking could be reasonable as well, though. Maybe even the better decision. So we'd have to call versus them just because there's so much money in there. We still have the two overcards. But mainly just hoping for two folds. I think it can be okay. We're getting folds just enough. Um, three hearts on the turn. Uh, do we stick this in or... Yeah, I mean, I guess we just put them in. I don't know. It's weird. There's a quarter pot behind. I don't think they're ever folding, but if they ever do, I guess we have to. Kind of a weird spot. And maybe he just decides, like, his sixes aren't good. I don't know. Kind of awkward. Probably not going to win at this point. Oh, we are good. Wow. Let's see what our opponent had there. I'll be very curious. And our opponent had ace nine of diamonds. See a cutoff limp, we raise the button, get two calls. Queen Jack 7 multi ways here. I think it's nice to be able to have some top pairs in your check back range, so we'll do it here. Four clubs on the turn. See a lead for about half pot. Calling. Uh, River 10 of diamonds. Um, interesting spot here. Multi-way shouldn't be bluffing a ton. I don't know if they're not, though. Um, with the clubs missing, it's tempting to call. I don't think he's ever going to have ace-king because he had limp called pre. Could have, like, the lower end of the straights. I'm going to go ahead and call. Um, opponent ends up with jack-10, so that kind of makes sense there. Had a medium-strength hand on the flop and then a better hand on the river. Uh, here we hijack open, cut off flat off a super short stack. We're going to three bet. Uh, the thing that's a little unfortunate here is our three bet's going to look pretty strong to this player because they know we're not getting probably tons of folds here. So this player will call all in. And we are going to lose to seven six offsuit. Uh, here we had a limp from the cutoff. We raise and get called. And we'll bet out here on the nine seven six with our open and straight draw. Get raised. I'm trying to decide if I just want to push this in or not. I'm going to put this in trying to get some folds. I uh, get snap called. Oh, he has it straight himself already. That was a miserable, miserable play by me. And, uh, end up losing there with a queen eight. That's going to wrap up today's cash game session. So we played about three hours at a mix of 2-5 and 1-2. In the 2-5 game, we played 576 hands, profit of 405. And then at 1-2, we played 242 hands, profit of $34. Total profit on the day, 440. A couple fun hands in there in the mix. Felly like played pretty well overall today. Uh, the queen eight hand at the very end may have been a bit of a punt, but uh, overall still nice to book a win after a few losing sessions. So if you guys are watching the vlog on YouTube today and enjoy the video, please be sure to like the video as well as comment and subscribe to the channel. I'm currently posting a new poker vlog five days a week, every Monday through Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you ever want to know my live streaming schedule on Twitch, I post that every Monday morning at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on the Schedule tab.